All right, here are the awards, of course, from the Pearl 2022 Pearl Awards. Pearl, of course, being performance, uh, 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 performance, what's the E for? Uh, earnings and results Result leadership. leadership. Boston of Mofaya, the legend himself, he is with us in the studio. He was live, boots on the ground at the Echo Hotel. Yes, Boston. yes, yes, we were. We were, we were That's there. Right. It's an honor to serve with you, sir. It was a great, it was a great, it was a great, uh, it's a great, it was a great, it was a great night. Yes, indeed. Thank yes, you. Indeed. I suppose, so what, 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 I mean, look, you've been here before. You're a multi-award winner. What, what does this mean as far as the organization, as far as what, you know, Pearl, the Pearl is trying to do with the capital markets? I think what it's been, they've been able to do over the last 27 years, uh, albeit the two years of the, um, COVID-19 pandemic, yeah. which there was in a hold, was to use, see, this is not a beauty, this is this is not a money bag right, award. Right. It's not who gets the biggest money gets the award. Mm. It's all based on verifiable facts. Of course, this is an award that also look at the consistency and the quality of reporting of the capital market yeah. end to end, whether it is stock, whether it is bond, whether it is uh, 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 money market, yeah, whether yeah. it is uh, the debt market in terms of commercial papers, agencies, euro bonds, whatever. So it looks at the interviews, it looks at the use of data, it looks at the uh, interviews that, what, that we do on all the shows yeah. and all the other shows that uh, uh, you also have such conversations. It looks at how we bring the market to the people. Yeah. It looks at the, the way we uh, uh, look at how the market trades, how investors are reacting, how policies from the SECs to market institutions such as the NESD, the FMDQ, mm. the NGX, all of this come together. So it's a capital market. When you look at the capital market, it's yep. not just about the Nigerian exchange, which formerly the NSC. Yeah. It's about the Eurobond, the Debt Management Office, right. the Ministry of Finance. You're looking at the Securities and Exchange Commission. Yeah. You're talking about the Eurobond. So the way we bring all of this together on a daily basis and yep. uh, putting it on the channel alongside the general political, social environment, other news item and it comes to stand out mm. in terms of how it is far reaching because again what we're reporting as far as the market is concerned is used for decision making yeah. folks want to trade so folks want to make investments they want to put their money their earnings into what assets will help them hedge inflation mm. exchange rate depreciation and what have you talking about the central banking monetary policy fiscal policies bringing it all together on market street yeah. and talk about companies results and earnings you cover a number of uh, uh, events around some of the big names in the industry like mm. mtn doing a, so do an you. offer so do you. dangote cement yes. going for corporate bonds and all of the other yeah. issues all yeah. of these are what makes this award possible mm. so it's, it's, a, it's, it's looking at the entire board the board of trustees of the Pearl Awards look at look. Uh, if you look at the TV stations, uh, media organizations covering Nigeria, who stands at the at the at the forefront yeah. in terms of consistency, in terms of the depth of what we report again, not just in numbers, mm. but bringing the people that matters to talk about them, whether this is local capital markets or international capital market. All of these are what makes uh, uh, the, the awards uh, possible from. So we say thank you to the Board of Trustees of, of the Pearl Awards who did me feel that, yes, uh, uh, we've been able to raise the bar yeah. and, and, and be the best among the rest. Fantastic. So also very quickly, we've had a lot of students coming to visit our studios, yes. a number of universities. You love the markets. I love the markets. Can you speak to the passion behind this for the future Future journalists that want to follow in your footsteps. No, no, I, I, to cover I, I, this I've stuff. had uh, 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 opportunities within the last, um, uh, specifically from 2007, mm. uh, when I was doing uh, uh, the market show on one or two other uh, news channels in the country, and they were visiting the Nigerian Stock Exchange. That was when the market was booming, yeah. by the way, before yeah. the market was in 2008. And, the, and I think I've had the privilege and opportunity of speaking to a number of students, yeah. young ones, yeah. and, and, and again, the uh, essay competition at the Nigerian Stock Exchange, now NGX, you still has, mm. and you have companies like Access and it and others who support this on a yearly basis, mm. which is an essay competition. Yeah. And I've seen students who are of different uh, uh, field of, of discipline looking to be knowledgeable financial inclusion, financial education, financial literacy. Mm. The whole thing that the central bank is talking about, the whole thing that the government is talking about, that we need to leave, we are not going to leave anyone behind. Right. Whether you're old, whether you're young, whether yeah. you're a boy or a girl, you need to be financially literate. So I've had that privilege, and it's good that they are also still visiting uh, 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 Arise, uh, uh, and this is a good time for them to visit. <laughs> congratulations again, sir. So congratulations to us. Boston on fire. Congrats to you, sir.